Welcome back to 31 Days of Yoga for Mental Health. I'm Daria and this is day 28, Peace. Today's practice is all about finding peace in our bodies, our minds, and our hearts. This is a restorative practice, so we'll begin with some yin yoga poses to really calm down the body and feel restored, renewed, and then we'll end practice today with a little simple meditation. Today, if you have a yoga block available, go ahead and grab one, have it nearby. If you don't have a yoga block, no problem. You can grab a pillow or use no props at all. It will also be helpful if you can set yourself up to be near a wall for today's practice. Again, if not, no worries. You can always do it without the wall. Whenever you're ready, let's begin. We'll get started today in supported bridge. So grab your block or your pillow or whatever prop you're using and make your way all the way down to lie on your back. Keep the soles of your feet grounded. Pick up your hips really gently with little to no engagement, little to no effort, and then slide the block or the pillow or whatever it is that you're using right under your sacrum. So supporting your pelvis. You can let your palms flip to face up toward the sky and then adjust so that you feel comfortable. You can always play with taking the block at a higher setting, but I would definitely recommend starting with the lowest setting and going from there only if you feel like you need more lift in the pelvis. And now option to stay right here or you can play with extending the legs out long in front of you. Extending the legs will allow you to get a little more deeply into the hip flexor region, the front of the hips. And either place is a great place to stay. So whichever you pick, go with how it feels. Go with what feels more peaceful, more relaxing, more restorative and chill. You can soften your gaze or close your eyes and begin to deepen your breath. Fill up with air from your low belly all the way between each rib up into your chest and your collarbones and exhale to let it all out. Let go of your day so far and drop into all the pieces of your body that are connected to the earth. Inhale again, fill all the way up from bottom to top. Exhale, settle. Continue breathing deeply and fully. And as we move through this practice, you can always come back to your breath as a reminder to stay present as your guide from moment to moment, from cycle to cycle. And begin to notice what's going on, body and mind. Do a full scan from the tips of your toes all the way up to the crown of your head. And notice any sticky spots, any places that are clinging or resistant to settling into the practice. Send love to those spaces with your breath. Focused attention more gentle awareness and you can imagine that these spaces are like fists that are clenched and with each bit of attention each exhale they come a bit more open soften a bit more and begin to turn your awareness more inward you can focus your gaze, whether your eyes are open or closed, into your third eye, on the space of the third eye. Turning awareness internally, almost as if you could gaze right into your own brain, into your own thoughts. Begin to notice the thoughts as they come and they go, like a layer of clouds drifting by. And this practice of settling, of a more meditative awareness, is not about removing thoughts entirely. It's not about the absence of thoughts. 
but it's about honing in, finding more awareness, more points of entry to the thoughts that do arise, exploring. Stay here for two more full rounds of breath. See if you can settle even more. Imagine that your full body is like water with particles floating into it. And it's been shaken and stirred and now the particles are settling to the bottom. One at a time, coming to rest in stillness. Draw the soles of your feet back to ground underneath your knees if they weren't already there. Really easily pick up your hips, slide your block out from underneath, and then slowly roll down one vertebra at a time all the way back to your mat. Windshield wiper your knees, take them over to the right, and you can stay right here for a breath. And then take them over to the left side of your mat. And breathe into the back line of your body, in the space that was elevated and is now grounded. Good. And we'll stay on our backs and just make your way to your wall so you can remove the block, get it out of your space, and scoot your butt in super close to the wall. You can take your heels up onto the wall and then use your hands to just slide it in even closer and see if you can connect your tailbone with the wall. And then lower down to your elbows, gently lower all the way down to lie on your back and you can take your palms out wide and then from here you can readjust again, just see how close you can get your butt to the wall. The knees can be micro bent or even more bent and the goal is just to completely relax so the legs can rest against the wall and if you don't have a wall available to you that's no problem you can still take legs up the wall without a wall just floating your legs up toward the sky and breathe here again you can close your eyes or soften your gaze and start to feel into the flush from the tips of your toes all the way down to your pelvis and back into the earth. If you notice any clenching in the muscles of your legs or any attempt to hold yourself up, let it go. Really give in to gravity and give in to the support of the wall. Take full breaths through your entire torso, all the way from bottom to top. Begin to consider what it feels like to be at peace. What does being peaceful mean to you? And what does it feel like in your body and in your mind? And as you stay a little longer here, maybe you begin to feel like a, a cycle of movement up and down through your legs. And as you inhale, it moves up from your hip bones to your toes. And as you exhale, it washes back down. It's almost like a circle of water moving through the whole system. or like maybe a pulsing sensation. And 
And whatever you're experiencing, go a little deeper into it. Soften your face, unclench your teeth, and relax the scalp and even the roots of your hair. As we stay for two more rounds of breath, feel so relaxed that it's like you could just melt right into the earth from the very core of your pelvis. Stay right where you are and then slowly begin to lower your heels out wide to the sides. So the pelvis stays grounded and your butt stays as close to the wall as possible. And then just let the legs float out to the sides. Try to resist any urge to force the legs wider than they want to go naturally. Just let it drop. And if you feel like maybe you've gone in a little too deeply, you can always retrace the steps to back it off a little more to a place that feels more sustainable. The goal with these longer holds is to set yourself up to be comfortable. Remember that we'll be here for a couple of minutes. So find the place where you feel a sensation that is interesting and sustainable. Let your toes and your feet be completely relaxed. And get even heavier through the back of your head and the base of your spine. Try to let go of any holding in the outer hips or in the inner thighs so that the legs can surrender to gravity. And as you stay, maybe you'll notice that the heels are just naturally sliding down the wall a little bit as you continue to let go of the muscular engagement. And with restorative yoga, we're working more with the fascia and the connective tissue than with the muscle. Try to let go of any degree of engagement. Notice what it feels like to be so open in this shape so that the whole front line of your body is receptive. And as the heels maybe open up and get a little meltier, notice if any tension wants to reignite. If your body wants to protect itself or tense up against the release. And with awareness, soften those spaces. As you do encounter tension, see if you can work with it rather than noticing it with any judgment or with any negativity associated with it. Really, it's a chance to explore, to go more deeply.
After a couple of minutes here, maybe you feel like a give, like something else lets go. And if you do experience that drop, sink more into that sensation, into that space, into all of that opening. Take one more soothing breath here. Good. Slowly bring your legs all the way back up and you can use your hands and maybe bend at your knees to draw the heels back in a little closer. And this might feel kind of crunchy or sticky after how long we've stayed. So again, you can windshield wiper the knees from side to side, keeping the legs up against the wall. And then plant the soles of your feet to the wall. Use your palms, ground into them, and just sort of inchworm your heart back a little bit, your heart and your hips. So moving your butt a little bit away from the wall. Keep your right sole of your foot planted into the wall and reach your left leg up high and then cross your ankle over your right thigh for supine figure four. And when you get there, you can adjust. If your butt is a little too close to the wall, you might feel the stretch a little more intensely than is comfortable. So you can always play with moving more away from the wall. And again, just set yourself up to be as supported and as comfortable as possible. This version of supine figure four using the wall allows you to completely surrender so that you don't even have to hold up the right leg. Everything is fully supported. Allow your breath to wash into your outer left hip, cleaning and clearing away old holding patterns old stories and residue that you don't need anymore. And letting go of all of this dust, all these cobwebs will allow you to feel more peaceful. Notice if the mind is wandering and come back to the sensations you're feeling right now. Come back to the gaze at the third eye and always to the breath. Stay right here for one more full inhale and one more big exhale. Let all of your air out every last bit. Uncross the left leg. Maybe you feel like a tingling or a buzzing in the left leg. And then bring the sole of your left foot to the wall as you reach your right leg up high, right toes. Cross right ankle over left thigh and take this supported supine figure four the other side. And you might notice a little difference between one side and the next. You might want to play with adjusting your pelvis again closer to the wall maybe or a little farther away to set up the level of intensity that works best for you right now. Check in with the hip flexor on the right side. Notice if it wants to get involved or to clench. Or maybe the outer hip wants to tighten up. Send sweet breath into all of those spaces. 
allow them to be at peace, allow them to rest. As we stay, feel free to micro adjust to feel more comfortable and also to move into little subtle openings as they unfold. Try to keep your whole spine down to the mat, all the way down to the sacrum. If that space is popping up, that's an indication that you might want to slide your pelvis away from the wall a bit more. For your last two breaths here, let go of every tiny muscle in your face and notice the ripple effect that this softening has throughout your whole body. Slowly undo the cross of your right ankle from left leg. Bring your left or your right foot back to the wall and just feel into a tingling or a buzzing in both of the legs. Slowly melt your way, roll onto one side, like just pour your body all the way over. And then slowly press your way up to a seat. Again, it's an option to take a block or a pillow as support under your butt as we move into the final bit of this practice, more meditative. So if you like, you can slide a block or a pillow or anything to elevate the hips just slightly right under your sitting bones and adjust so that you feel good. And this just helps with the blood flow in your legs so that the toes don't get numb as we sit and stay. You're welcome to sit up on your knees if that feels more comfortable for you as well. You can take mudras if you like, maybe take the tip of your thumb and your index finger to touch and then ground your palms down to your legs. Close your eyes. Inhale and lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, super slowly slide them all the way down your back and relax. So both sides of your neck lengthen. Feel into your sitting bones rooted into the earth and the back line of your body growing long up through the crown of your head. And we'll end practice today with a simple counting meditation. We'll count from one up to 10 and each inhale or exhale is a new count. So you'll inhale and count one in your head Exhale, count two. Inhale is three. Exhale is four. All the way up to 10. And those counts are not the length of the breath. It's just a number. It's just a count. Something for your mind to latch onto and focus on as we sit in stillness. Let go of all of your air. And when you're ready, begin. Inhale, one. Exhale, two. Inhale, three. Exhale, four. Continue breathing and counting at your own pace. And when you get to 10, you just start back over at one. If you notice that your mind wanders away and you lose your count, no problem. But see how quickly you can regain the focus. Come back to the count. 
wherever you left off or start over from one. And you can take your gaze with eyes closed or open internally to the space of your third eye. Let your face be soft. And let your breath be deep and full. We'll stay in silence for another minute and just stay with a count. Inhale with the odd numbers and exhale on the even numbers. Let your whole body feel at peace. Let everything soften around the edges, body and mind. And hone your focus right onto those counts. If you notice that this begins to feel uncomfortable or if you're frustrated with how often you may be losing count, try to have patience and compassion for yourself and recognize the power of this practice for your brain, this practice of meditation, of deep breathing, of awareness has literal impact on the makeup of your brain. And so remember that you're doing something good for yourself. And it is a practice that does take patience and time. Stay with your focused, gentle awareness for one more round until you get to your count of 10. Ending on an exhale. Slowly blink your eyes open, allow light back in. And from here, you're welcome to take Shavasana if you'd like to melt a little more into relaxation or you're free to move into the rest of your day as you like. I hope you're feeling a little more peaceful body and mind and remember that you always have the power with patience, with breath and with focused awareness to come back to this state of just feeling a little more centered and a little more at peace. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.